So welcome. Um, this is the third race in the CMS iRacing Team Endurance Series. We've got Rob, who's qualified us in P15 in the GT3 class. Um, this is Phillip Island. Phillip Island is a fun track, very, very technical, um, a lot of places to go off, um, and really the type of track you want to do a multi-class race on. Not. And so uh, here we are um, in uh, the glory of uh, racing. Rob is on grid and is starting the car. And we have uh, a few minutes until green. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, keep it on this view so I don't have to switch it when I get in the car. Um, but you won't see me um, once, uh, once we actually start the race. Um, this will be... Um, looking at the car the entire time. Um, and the reason for that is, of course, um, you don't want to see me and what I'm doing um, <laughs> behind the scenes. You want to see what Rob's doing on track. So the first half of the race will be focused on the car. You'll still hear our comms as we talk back and forth. Say hi, Rob. Hi, Rob. And then um, we will switch over to where I'll be in car and it'll be more traditional view. You'll see the picture-in-picture uh, the picture in the upper right-hand corner, and it'll be fun. I think it's over here, actually. So, uh, this should be a fun race. Rob, any, any thoughts, any concerns? The air temp is uh, 63 Fahrenheit. I don't want to wreck the car. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to make a mistake that I'm going to hear about. <laughs> All car number three, three, yeah. Rob, I, I'm, up, I'm happy up, to be like, here. Yeah, you, you you talk about it like I'm a I'm a bad guy or something, but I'm I'm really you're, not. You're, you're not a bad guy. You're not a bad guy. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be on a team with a bad guy. You're <laughs> you're mildly high maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, okay. All right, here we go. Okay, so we'll go up to the chopper view now that we're rolling. Righty. Well, the guy in front of me and the BMW in front of me, they said we're not supposed to warm our tires. And he's not swaying back and forth, but he's accelerating, standing on his brakes, accelerating, standing on his brakes. Yeah. So we can always file an IRR if we want to be dicks about it later. But yeah, not necessary. I have better things to do. But uh, it's like. You know, do you, is it really necessary to warm your tires and your brakes? Well, he's P13, too. I mean, really? Um, well, you, even if you've got the stickiest, warmest tires on the planet, it's not going to get you through this crowd any faster when on start. Yeah, I just, I just don't think this is like the NFL, where there's pro scouts tuning in on a Sunday morning to from the BMW <laughs> factory team Look going, well wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute, hey, he, he, he skirts the rules. <laughs> I think that P13 is just a, he must have had a hard qualifying because he's clearly professional caliber. <laughs> he's got the mindset. I guess we shouldn't uh, talk shit about our fellow drivers. We don't know them as people, but, you I don't know. Want, I don't want to know most of them as people because they tend to hit us, and yeah. personify on them makes up hating them less easy. That's, so um, That's true. I, uh, it'll be interesting to see if he is the bowling ball in this, uh, this particular start. Well, and I have to say, I'm a lot of my, uh, you know, I, I, I like to snark is the way I communicate snark and sarcasm. So a lot of it's meant in jest, but it's okay, also yeah. Be ready. the best comedy is funny because it's true. Yep. Okay. Okay. Here, here we go. Start. LMP2s are in the acceleration zone. GT3 is not yet. Uh, Green's out. Whoa! Traffic up the ass. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my BMW acceleration. Oh Wait. yeah, acceleration oh, yeah. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah. Almost ran over our BM friend in the BMW. Yeah, no access, so you didn't hit anybody. So good, we're good. No, yeah, that no, would have no. been bad to start out the. There's an incident in the loop. Oh, someone's already oh, off. Oh, oh. oh. 
You don't want to be the uh, the jumping bean at the start. No, and I'm just kind of tiptoeing around here until these tires get warm. Yeah, that's exactly right. You don't want to... That's, I think, the problem that the guy that spun off had. Left side. Hold your line. Left side is clear. You got somebody that's looking a little racy behind you. Alex. Rivera. Yeah, he's... He, oh, and he hit me. Thanks, Alex. That was kind of dumb. There's an incident in turn six. It looks like it's Rivera, Burke, and Atkinson. Yeah, he just... He turned me. Yeah, I know. I saw. And he's not going to give you back the spot. What a fucking dick. Yeah. Stuck his nose in there and then fucking turned you around. There's an incident in turn 11. There's an incident in turn 12. That was still in the orange zone, was it not? That was turn six, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Or maybe, uh, maybe it was turn nine. It might have been turn nine. I don't know. 17. I'd have to go back and look. Maybe we should change our tagline to racing hard and making friends. Seriously, that was just dumb on his part. Yeah, I mean, first lap of the race, you got to stick your nose in on that corner. Everyone's bunched up. And it was my corner. He's a 2.6K driver. He probably feels like he didn't qualify well and he's pissed. Well, if he's 2.6, he should drive better than that. I mean, part of the algorithm to getting good at this is when you get over 2,000, you're theoretically supposed to be a safer driver. Actually, safety rating and I rating are two totally different things for that exact reason. They don't mean the same thing. But your incidents are affected by, your I rating gets affected by your incidents, doesn't it? No, your, in, your I rating is affected by your finish. So if you have situations where you hit other cars and get them out of your way, um, that'll count against your incident points, but not your I rating if you finish ahead of them. Now, in theory, if you take yourself out, obviously, that has an effect on your I rating, but if you just hit people in your way, way, it looks like Atkinson. That's why they are distinct and separate. Okay. Because you'll actually see really high rating, high rating drivers with low uh, safety rating because they tend to punt people out of the way. Then they'll build their safety rating out playing, you know, playing nice for a few races to build it up quick. and then they'll be back at their tricks. Some might argue that um, having a high safety rating actually diminishes your I rating. Because in order to drive uh, clean, you're actually giving up spots. Gap to Rivera ahead is now oh. 1.5. I'm not. I'm not saying I agree with that mentality. I'm just saying that that is a popular belief. That's, that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Okay, we've lost two positions since start. Thanks to our buddy Alex. Yeah. How's the car feel? The faster car behind. He's racing. Feels fine. I don't think we'll get a blue flag. 
Okay, you got an LMP2 behind you. No blue flag. It's for position. Incident in so no, you think it might be Christensen? Yeah, and he's taking your left side. Clear on the left side. P17. Damn it, he didn't take Alex out. <laughs> I had secret hopes. That's Schadenfreude, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The lighting and the uh, misfortune of others. And even wishing it. <laughs> <laughs> You were faster than him last lap, so... The guy behind you was faster than you, though. Yeah, I noticed he's been catching me incrementally. Here and we've got... LMP2 runners. Got the LMP2 uh, leaders coming up. That was quick. It wouldn't take long. Hold your breath, buddy. Left side, left side. Two of them. Watch Three of them. It's clear. Get a car on your left. Blue flag. Left side is clear. You're good. The cap is Rivera. What a shitty place to have to take the outside line. I know. Incident in turn six. It looks like it's Burke. Okay, two more. Left side, left side. Clear left. Boy, those Another guys just side. like pushed me right off. Shit. Oh, that one guy just launched it in there and Okay, you got, an, got one coming on. Okay, Chip. Quickly, quickly. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Go, go, go. Okay, you've got uh, three bearing down on you. Quick. Inside, left side. Left side. Well, the LMP2 traffic's just as bad as you would have expected. Left side. Another one left side, left side. You're clear. Yeah. God damn it. 18. Why do I have a 6x? Oh, I guess I from that hit I got. Yeah, you got hit. That was a 4x, and then that's uh, the loss of control was the 2x just now. Sector 1 is 0 0.30 off the pace. There's a faster car approaching. Got another LMP2 bearing down. Blue flag. The LMP2 cars are just taking away your line. They don't even let you move into your line at all. Left side. Be clear. Faster cars approaching. You're on the left side. The app to work. Behind is now 11 seconds. There's an incident in the loop. Blue flag. That's your fastest lap today. Good lap. Okay, another LMP2. He wants the inside bad, but he's going to take the outside. No, he's not. He can fucking wait. <laughs> there you go. We have left side. Blue flag. The gap to Ortiz in front is now. 7.6 seconds. A little deeper than I should have gone there. Looks like it's back. You just take a deep breath. We don't need to push at this point. I mean, it's going to be what it's going to be at this point. 
I gotta quit driving with fiery red coals where my eyeballs used to be. Yeah, you, yeah, you just need to relax. You got uh, the next GT3 car behind us is 18.6 seconds behind it, and uh, the next one behind that is 25.8 seconds back. So uh, we have no threat from behind right now if you keep it on the track. Um, and uh, Luis is like getting away from fire. us at 7.0. <laughs> seven seconds ahead of us uh, as P17, and I don't see that shrinking anytime soon unless he has an incident. So just put your Probably head down and drive in your bubble. I'll call out the LMP2s as they come up on you. But we got uh, 40 seconds back to the next one right now, so you got a little bit of clear space. Okay. Sector 3 is 0.9 off the face. Stay on the track, baby. Ahead is now 7.4. Ramirez is now in the lead. Sector 2 is 0.7 off the pace. Ortiz. Somebody just got black flagged. Miguel Colon, or Cologne. Mm-hmm. I don't know who that is. Let me see if I can see who that is. Miguel Colon, that is a... Oh, that's a... Uh... S at Sim Racing PR Blue, car number 21. A GT car? With Alex Rivera. Oh. Maybe they got black flag for hitting us. Yeah. That's weird because Alex Rivera is driving it. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe the car owner gets the black flag. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But yeah, that's the car that's uh, P17 right now, so we'll inherit that spot when he serves his penalty. They're probably trying to lobby against it, saying it was your fault for being there. <laughs> for, being, for being in the driving line when they were trying to... Pass me. Yeah. He just passed uh, an incident Christian Oast for 16. He's going to be really pissed. Uh, someone's coming back on. Oh, yeah. That would be Christian. Christian is a C driver with a 4.6 safety rating and 2.3 KI rating. He's reasonably quick. I think he got a podium at the last race. Unless I'm thinking of somebody else. Yeah, I, I seem to remember him being fairly quick, yeah. But I always see these guys with high I rating, high safety rating, and wonder why is he not... Race license stuff. All right, Chip. The next car is. Maybe they just run a lot of league races, but I guess they'd have to be licensed up to get there. I mean, they'd have to run i racing races to get the their i rating. 
Yeah, so, I mean, you can you can get your I rating up in any class. Yeah, but I mean, you would think that if he was good enough, it would do the automatic bump up, you know. Well, only if he's done races at the, uh, the sea level that qualify for the bump. Second down in sector three. He may be uh, competing in B level races, <laughs> which I don't think qualify for the MPR for sea level license. There's a group of faster cars approaching. Ironically. Could be wrong the about that. I thought, sure. I thought those are the ones that gave you the most points. No, there's the minimum, um, uh, the, the MPR requirements for the licensing are fairly specific. You got an LMP on your right and on your right. 8.9. Blue flag. Yeah, there's a pair of them. And you got another one coming, uh, another two actually coming. So every five, six laps, you're going to see LMP2 traffic. Another one. He's holding back, holding back, and on your left. Blue flag. Okay, Jeff. It's past the class car approaching. Left side is clear. So every five laps, it's going to be like holding your breath. Right side, right side. Right side is clear. And what he just said. <laughs> yeah, what the. Blue the flag. drunk Australian. Right side, right side. Yeah, that traffic is not good. Christian Elst must have had an off. He he was nine seconds back. Right side, right side. Yeah. Sector three is one point two seconds off the pace. I'm really puzzled by Miguel being seeing another car? No, it only shows him listed once. Say Dominguez was black flagged. There's a faster class car approaching. Well, the one thing I've learned is that coming through this part of the track, if the LMP2s are on me, I'm taking the left line and making them go on the outside, because that's how I went off last time. Yeah. Okay, left side, left side. Clear on the left. There's an incident in turn nine. We think it might be Atkinson. Jose Dominguez is a LMP two car, the number seven car. Doodle Motorsports has a meatball they need to serve. Gap to Ortiz. Ah. Head is increasing. It's now 9.6. I'm wondering if the Miguel uh, Cologne was an error because that black flag is not showing anymore and it does not appear that they've slowed down any. Or yeah, it does. That's some racing blue, some racing PR blue, and they are in 19th position now. So they must have served their black flag, and I went by them, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't notice going by them. Chris Pice is either on vacation or otherwise occupied because he wasn't in the PCA Pro Race on Friday and is not here. Uh, Billy Smith is uh, driving in his stead today with Leaf. He's racing in that Janetta race at some, I don't know, I can't remember what track he said he was at, but he had those pictures of that white Janetta. Yeah. On. That was a pretty sweet car. Yeah, it looks like it's a lot of fun. 
Well, Chris must do all right. That's an expensive hobby. I think that he's a talented enough driver that he was offered that seat based on his performance uh, in a, a lower class with all his right, own Jim, car. There's a faster car approaching. I think that that's how it probably goes. Left side. You on the left side. I still think at that level, aren't they? Aren't they uh, still having to pay a little bit? Yeah, I mean, the, the, the rumor has it that if you're going to be a even a professional driver, um, if you get a C, chances are you're bringing place. sponsorship dollars with you as part you're of that. Second off the pace in sector two. Paying for the team, paying for your seat. Even the talented drivers have that as a requirement. That's but, like uh, why uh, that guy Cooper McNeil that races the WeatherTech car. His dad owns WeatherTech, so. Yeah, yeah exactly. Those, that guys, helps. those guys can get in, for sure. Okay, LMP2 bearing down on you, right side. Right side, right side, clear. This one will get you everywhere. Our lap time was 129. Okay, you got another one coming on you. Left side. Blue flag. Oh, shit, 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 shit. God, I touched the, touched the tires. God damn it. Just drive your line. You don't have to compensate for them. That's what you did as you moved right. I know. I know. That was dumb. God damn it. You just drive your line. Whatever line you're on, just hold that line. But don't, don't overly compensate. You don't have to move further to the right for them. You were already well past halfway point on the track. So they only need one lane. Good mistakes. It's okay. This is me off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Zip it up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. For you kids at home, <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a time to have your mom take you shopping. <laughs> If you're watching the chip channel, your mom and your parents are not good parents. <laughs> a faster car approaching. <laughs> it might be a good and important time to remind folks that the stream is not for children. So, um, yeah, the word of the day is boundaries. <laughs> <laughs> Blue flag. The gap behind is now 12 seconds. Six. Okay, you got another LMP. It's going to take you on the right side. Oh, he's back now. He doesn't like the right side. He's taking the left side. You are clear on the left side. He's seen how the uh, force is pushing my big heavy car outside going through that turn. Mm hmm. I swear, some of these LMP2 drivers don't know how physics works. Yeah, it's like, car's twice as heavy, and it's going almost as fast. Why can't it hold the line that I can hold? There's an incident in turn 12. It looks like it marks. Okay, you got the leaders of LMP2 coming back on you again. Okay, Chip. That's the car approaching. It's their class leader. That's the blue flag. And left side. He thought about it, though. He did not like having to take that line. Uh, I don't like side, having to deal with this graphics. I don't like racing with LMP2 cars, so we're even. Yeah, no, man. This track is insane for multi-class. Blue flag. Right side. Clear. Sector three is 1.6 seconds off the pace. Jim thinks we're in P5. <laughs> Jim's lost his goddamn mind. He's he's back home in Australia and he's tripping Drink. balls on mushrooms or something. Drinking again. Yeah. <laughs> I guess recovery didn't Sector work for Jim. 1.5 off the pace. <laughs> We'll call him Old Jim Relapse. 
blue flag. How's the car feel? Does it feel any worse for wear? Feels fine. Feels like the bottom's full of grass. <laughs> so it's a smuggler's car. Yeah. I mean, there's no damage to the car. Left side, left side. Clear. I am going to need to change the, the lawn clippings on our first pit stop. I think <laughs> the bag's full. <laughs> the bag's probably full, yeah. But, I mean, to your credit, the lawn has never looked so good here. That's true. Okay, Chip, there's a faster class car approaching. Well, I like to think of myself as a renaissance man, you know. I like to be known as, you know, race car driver, architect, and landscape right sculptor. <laughs> Wait till we get to the hedge train portion there, of the Montana show later when I'm behind the wheel. Yeah, Edward Scissorhands, eat your heart out. <laughs> God oh, damn, no, it. damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Shit! Second time that's happened there. Okay, you got fast traffic coming. Blue flag. You got slow traffic coming. This is P17 passing us. Just gave that right back to him. God damn it. Come on, Coddle, get your shit together. God, I'm driving like an amateur. Great, now team leader Chip's not gonna let me start the car again. What is it they say? Be careful what you ask for. Or what you wish for, right? Yeah. Yeah. God, please teach me how to turn and brake without spinning the car. Three unforced errors. That pisses me off. <clears throat> so you're, you're carrying 10x right now. Gap in front has increased to 1.9. But on a positive note, you just saved a fortune on your car insurance. Thanks. That reminds me uh, of a really funny, hilarious, but very wrong good news, bad news joke that I'm not going to say over a recording. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to tell it to you another time. I, I certainly will. Um, P1 and in class is behind you. Well, now an LNP2 is behind you, but P1 is coming hard. Uh... Blue flag, there's a faster car approaching. Okay, LNP2, left side. You're clear. Turn six. Looks like it's broke. Blue flag. Six to two is. Okay. LNB2. Right side. <coughs> you're clear. Still there. No, you're not. <laughs> yeah, he, he just it. stuck he it down it in there. Down, yeah. Blue flag. Okay. Turn Class seven. leader behind you. Back. Behind. He's using you think I'm going to move over now, dude? You're crazy. He's driving line. Son of a bitch! Okay, I don't deserve to drive this car. This is pathetic. This is just fucking horrible. Just cut the truck. This is absolutely horrendous. Blue flag. Come on, just shake it off, man. You're good. It's fucking amateur hour. The gap in front. 
lift has increased. It's now about 12 seconds. Probably lost a good lap just spinning the damn car. Turn 11. It looks like there's an incident in. Turn 10. Yellow flight. See what it's about, you mate. Probably not quite that bad, but a half a lap, definitely. You got a slow car re-entering in front of you there? And, oh my god, there's somebody a lap down to me? Looks like it's Burk. Okay, Chip, there's a faster car approaching. No. Oh yeah, there is. A P20 car. Oh, Holy that crap. LMP just tagged me. That's that same asshole that hit me during practice. Okay, another LMP2, left side, left side. Another one and another one, left side. Left side. He just punted me. I know. I saw it. Is there much damage to the car? I don't think so. I didn't even see it register as a, a 1X. Well, I have 12X. Yeah, you had that before. Seconds. Blue flag. Yeah, I don't think there's anything uh, additionally wrong with the car. Turn six, yellow flag. Watch out. God, this is like a fucking free for all out here. Yeah, the car looks clean. Blue flag. Well, people are driving like nuts out here, and I mean, it's hard for me to to criticize people's driving at this point, but but there's some very questionable. Before race crap. Yeah. Right. Car behind a faster class. Flash well, your lights all you want. Uh, where the fuck do you want me to go? Disappear? LMP2 splitting you. Right side. Right side clear. P16. Yeah, P4 wanted by you badly. You couldn't make it happen, so just drive your line. There's an incident in the loop. If he's faster yeah, than you, he'll find a way around. That's how I feel about it. It's like, go around, douchebag. You're so goddamn fast. Left side, left side, left side. He is there. He doesn't have your door yet. Left side, he's got you. Clear. I let him by. Thank you. LMP2. Left side. Clear on the left. James Foster is right behind you, P5 GT3 class. Yeah, I got him. Kind of hard to miss that car. It's a really hideous paint job. It's like uh, Blue flag. Caltrans orange with uh, with Caltrans striping, yellow and black striping on it. It's kind of cool. There you go. Yeah, P5 and P6 are chewing at you right now. P6 is going to try to use you as a pick to try to get around P5, I think. <laughs> Which does not always go well for the pick. Right side, he's coming. Right side, right side, right side, right side. Another one right side. You're clear. Blue flag. Faster cars approaching. Okay, LMP2s. Left side. Another one, left side. Land, you're clear. How do the tires feel? Oh, they feel okay. Okay, estimated laps uh, 17.8 at this present time with 13.7 gallons left in the tank. And we're on 35 minutes right now into the race. The captain Rivera behind is now 10 seconds. All right, Chip, there's a faster class car approaching.
just heard some calamity behind us. It's not like some cars getting into each other, so. Oh, well, let's hope so. Blue flag. I'd hate for me to be the only one having all the fun. <laughs> LMP2 bearing down. It's going to be patient and take you on the inside. We're maybe not as patient as I thought. Yeah. Blue flag. Alex Rivera is uh, ten and a half seconds behind you right now. Well, if he catches me, this car is going to get real fucking wide. <laughs> well, he's already turned you around once, so just be careful. You're a second faster that lap than uh, the P15 car ahead of you. Of course, he's 44 seconds ahead of you, but... Pass the car behind. So if I do that 44 more times, I'll catch him? Exactly right. Blue flag. How'd you like my grasp of math there? <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. I'll MP2 on your right. You're clear. I'm sure it's intimidating to drive with the genius of a partner. <laughs> I hope it doesn't affect you. Well, I try to give you, you know, pieces of information that from a relative perspective are encouraging, but the real reality of them is, is not really all that encouraging. That's true. It's so like, I mean, you're a second a lot faster than the guy in front of you, but it doesn't matter. It's probably less encouraging. Though. Yeah, you've, you've already fucked us so badly. It, it's really <laughs> irrelevant. <laughs> Well, I mean, the good news is, is we're still only one spot down from where we started. Uh, that's a minor miracle, if you ask okay, me. Okay, Chip, there's a faster car yeah. approaching. Blue flag. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> LMP2 taking you on the right side. Yeah, I got him. He's giving you a wide um, berth. <laughs> I'm, I'm probably more of a savant than a, than a genius. <laughs> and James Holman, I don't think he could have gotten any further right. He was riding the uh, the rumble strip on the right-hand side to stay away from you. That was so funny. I want him to fear me. <laughs> okay, LMP2 on your left side. Left side, left side, you're clear. Another one, left side, clear. If I front this, what do we get? The gap to Rivera behind is now 11 seconds. The first of those two was Billy Smith. Really? Yep. Is he a PCA guy? Yep, he is. They're fighting for position. He actually, he won several of the early championships. Oh, and, did he? Uh, yeah, I don't know why he stepped out, um, stopped racing with us, but he, I think he was in, like, series, I think, six he came back out. I think he won series four. Yeah. 16th place. I don't remember seeing him in series four. It might have been series three. but Maybe, yeah. But he's, he goes back to the early days. LMP2 on your right, on your right. Another one on your right, on your right. And you're clear. There's a faster car approaching. You're going to love this traffic. I'm sure. It's fucking ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's just... It's chaotic. This is the most stressed out I've been in traffic of any race I've done so far. You're you're keeping decent pace. All things considered, LMP2 traffic. Right side, right side, right side. Wow, that was narrow. Yeah, he didn't give me a lot to work with. Some of these guys, I tell you. Need to reevaluate their decision-making paradigm. Blue flag. 
LMP2 right side. Incident in turn four. Man, he almost hit you too. I don't think it's a paradigm as much as it is just a. Okay, oh, slow LMP2. Yeah, and you've got a GT3 behind you, uh, the P7. Flavio Saturnino, or Little Saturn, as like to call him. You can flash your fucking lights as much as you want. There's only one race line through this part of the track, and I'm driving it. Left side, you're clear. He's looking antsy. Left side, he's got your corner, he's got your corner. He's got your door. Still there. Gonna power through. Still there, good, you're clear. We've got another one right behind him, though. Actually, another two, but... They don't have to poop to keep up with you. We, I think we're more trimmed out than a lot of these guys are. It's not normally the case. I think okay, a Jeff. bunch of these guys the are car like scared of the car in the uh, in this loop. Left side. Because that's where they've got the speed, so they've got more downforce than we do. Left side, left side. Captain Rivera behind us now. 7.2 Blue flag Blue flag Maybe I shouldn't be picking the setups, you think? I don't think there's anything wrong with the setup. It feels fine to me. Okay, you got an LMP2 behind you. Be one thing if we were trimmed out and the car was a Blue flag. just a slippery mess to drive, but it, it feels fine to me. Yeah. Just my stupid driving that's You know, you put a moron in, in Ayrton Senna's championship winning McLaren, I bet they wouldn't be able to drive it either. I think that's the P10 car. He actually had some speed going through there. Nick Kuhn was just black flagged. He a GT3? I believe so. Honestly, I don't know. Nick Kuhn is no LMP. I'd really like to get those 45 seconds back that I left in the grass. Yeah, if we had those 45 seconds back, we'd still be behind the P15 car, though. Yeah, but we'd be closer. Yeah, true. Just keep in perspective. Mistakes are costly, but they're not so costly as they would have changed much where we are right now, so. Just continue to drive. And remember, I love you. Yeah, you say that to all your team partners. I do. I know you're polyamorous. <laughs> I just think of the movie Airplane. It's a good thing he doesn't know what I really think. It's a damn good thing you don't know what he really thinks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love that show. <laughs> it's an awesome movie. It's actually on HBO right now, I think. Or it's at I least through HBO Max. I tell my younger younger staff that if they haven't seen it, they need to. There's an incident in the loop. Blue flag. Okay, LMP2. Looks like the craft car. That was a scary rejoin. Left side, you're clear. You're in P15, my friend. Yeah, a couple guys have... Uh, had some misfortune. So we're back where and, we started. And in the true spirit of Schadenfreude, I, I'm delighting in it. It is not enough to succeed, others must fail. Gap is now 1.7 seconds. 
He's faster than you into turn four. Somebody uh, got disconnected due to packet loss. That sucks. I've lost my packets. And you cut that really tight. Didn't give me a one X. No, it's just it's uh, you're flirting with the grass there. Well, the grass and I have a complicated relationship. <laughs> the grass is not that cute. You should not flirt with it. Yeah, P the P grass is not greener. P16 is right behind you, Apexes though. Apexes and exits. Apexes and exits. Yeah, he's the guy that went off in the loop last time. Well, that was a BMW that was so quick. Yeah, he's fast. Herbert Misiak? 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 Masiak. Yeah, Masiak, yeah. 2.5k. a class car behind. Of course, a 1.0 safety rating on an A license. So he is like one bad race away from losing his A license, which is kind of cool. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Guy in front of me just... Went off the left side of the track and tagged the wall. Ouch. Not sure how he did that. That's a weird place to go off. Maybe he sneezed. I've had that happen. Maybe one, maybe one of his quills poked him. <laughs> Blue flag. See what I did was there? Little it, BMW was it, joke. it was he in a BMW? Yeah, he was a BMW driver. Nice. Yeah. Nice. He must have been a backmarker because we didn't gain a position on that. That's disappointing. I know. What what good is misfortune for somebody else if we don't gain something from it? Kay. Other than perverse joy. LMP2. Okay, Jet. Hold your nose. He's Just coming up. No he has a clear pervert yet. Yeah, he's looking for a way. And Herbert's on your inside. Left side, left side, left side, left side. LMP2 is going to chase him. Uber has cleared me. Yeah, left side. Clear. There's an incident in turn six. You think it might be Rodriguez? And uh, P9 is right behind you right now in class. I think he was the guy that smacked the wall. Maybe. There's a group of faster cars behind it's you. It's what color? It's the position. color of car that... I'm pretty sure it's him. That's why we didn't get a place for it. He was ahead of us. Okay, LMP2, right side, right side. Clear. Another one. Right side. Clear. Okay, you got inside, 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 inside. He's clear. Not for position, so you don't need to turn him around or anything. First 12, it looks like Rodriguez. Okay, Rob. Got a car off on the right. Got him. Blue flag. That put us back in P15, though. LMP2 on your left. Left, left, clear. Another one. Left side, left side, left side. Clear. Wow. Jim just said, this is shit. Make it less shit. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. That was a good one. Like, yeah. wow, good one, Jim. I've, I've Ouch. Heard, I've heard that a few times, sadly. I feel like oh, Austin wait. Powers. Ouch, baby. Ouch. <laughs> I know. It, it really hurts your feelings, some of the things that he'll say. He so, yelled at me one time and said how hard that they were all working, and I was letting them down. I was like, fuck, dude, really? <laughs> so Noah so, Sully Vasquez Rodriguez is the car behind you in the 666 car. I'm good. I'm being chased by the beast. Yeah. That's the longest Sully, name I've seen in a while. Sully, Noah Sully Vasquez Rodriguez. I'm the owner of the beast. <laughs> Don't quit your day job, dude. Uh, Sorry, it's hard to channel my inner Bruce Dickinson when I'm driving this challenging course. All right, Chip. There's a faster car approaching. You got to really tell. You, you can only do Iron Maiden at full volume. You can't kind of whisper, sing it. Right. Okay, LMP2 behind you. He's going to go left side. Clear. 
So Omar Abad is behind you now, LMP2 car. He's the one that can be a little uh, interesting in his passing attempts. So That actually describes most of the LMP2 fill, Chip. I know. Right side. He just doesn't even, like, pause. He's got confidence bordering on stupidity. Well, he came out of that corner wagging the rear end. He was... Turn six. Looks like it's Foster. Yeah, for a P12 uh, runner, he's, he's overly aggressive. He's one of those guys that if he slowed it down just a little bit, he'd probably be tons faster. Yeah, it could be. Overdrives the car. And the LMP2 does not like to be overdriven, as I recall. Yeah, it's a fun car to drive, but you gotta, there's a fine line. Yeah. Okay. You have uh, six laps of fuel in the tank this time by. I have unchecked fast repair. I have unchecked all four tires. We'll look at the tires when we come in. And a full tank of gas. Copy that. That lap was at 129.23. LMP2 on your right, and you're clear. There's an incident into the loop. We think it might be like Foster. Foster. Yellow flag. That loop's claiming a lot of victims. Yeah, LMP2, right side. Oh, he backed out left side. Blue flag. Left side. Closed the door on him a little bit there. Well, I ran out from, I took the apex and tracked out, and it's like, that's what GT cars do, dude. <laughs> he seemed a little frustrated that I would do that, and I'm like, well... I'd keep a tighter line if I could. Wouldn't we all? Sector two is not I right was an place. LMP and you were a GT3. Would you marry me anyway? You, nothing, huh? You didn't. No. Didn't do anything for you, huh? No. Luckily, I have edit capability on this video. Yeah, please, please edit that. I don't, <laughs> I don't need that getting out in the world. I forget that we're being recorded sometimes. The captain Rivera behind is increasing. It's I know, now it's 2. Like, 2. 6. I wonder how much of a tune you have to sing, but I, I think it's decidedly off key, so it's probably not recognizable. But you know, I don't want to pay royalties on this video if I don't have to. Yeah, those ass cap royalties are a bitch. I don't even know who sang that song. Like Gordon Lightfoot or something? I don't I know. know yeah. So Alex Rivera is two seconds behind you, and that's been steady state for the last two laps or so. So He is not gaining ground. Well, if he gets up to me, I'm, I'm not going to let him by easy. I'm going to make him work for it. And if he puts me off, there's going to be an IRR. <laughs> The guy in front of us and the guy behind us are actually lapping a bit quicker than we are. Someone's watching their mirrors. It's okay, Jeff. There's a faster car approaching. Okay, LMP2 will be bearing down on you here shortly. Probably is going to catch you in the loop, if not before. Blue flag. You've just done a 129.04. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Okay, here he is. Left side. Yeah. He's chosen left.
Alex seems faster than me through the loop, but I seem to have him, his, I'm quicker than him through the back half. Yeah, I like I said, I think being trimmed out as we are, we, we got more speed than most on the straights. And there's a lot of straight here. And I'm actually gaining on him through six and turn nine as well, just by a tenth or two. Oh no, there was a stern warning. Now go away or I shall taunt you again, a second time. I think that that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah. B12. All righty. Tommy Lee Kogan. Gonna get you on exit here. And left side, left side, and he is clear. That pass brought to you by Kraft Macaroni and Cheese. The only macaroni and cheese dinner that has nothing to do with actual macaroni and cheese. Right. <laughs> That's if you're a, a powdered cheese connoisseur. <laughs> okay, my friend. Blue flag. You've got uh, two laps in the tank. Well, 2.6 laps, but this time by only two. LMP2 car behind you. It's going to take the inside, inside line. And you're clear. Okay, two laps, then box. Sorry, I didn't see that in time. Jim didn't warn me either. Approaching. It's their class leader. Okay, LMP2P1 is on your booty. Gonna take you on the left side. Left side, clear. The leader, Ramirez, is pitting. Oh, too deep. Too deep, Rob. Come on. You know where your break points are. Don't act like you don't. Another LMP2. Gonna take you right side. Right side. Right side's clear. Yeah, kind of telegraph that to him in hopes that he would pick up on that. Another one. Right side is chosen right. We are clear on the clear. And left side. Blue flag. Left another one left side. It's okay, Jim. And another one left side. Oh, Jesus, he just threw that in there. He was. I had that line, and I had to pack out of it, or I would have been taken out. The car in front of us is now Anderson. That was dumb. The eleven. Okay, this is your final lap. You're gonna box this lap. Box this lap. This lap. Okay, box, box, box. 
There's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. Remember to get on your limiter. Pit lane speed limit is 45 miles per hour. Activate limiter. Well, that was a ton of fun. 300 feet. Okay, I'm going to look at the tires and see if it's advisable to change them while fuel's going in. They're not bad. 60. I'd leave them on. Okay, if you're sure. Yep. You do realize that another 20% is going to bring 40? down to 40. I've already demonstrated my math prowess. You don't need to explain that to me. Fair enough. <laughs> Yeah, let's just let's just stay with it. Okay. Stay with our plan. Sounds good. I'm right there with you. It says we have 46 seconds of optional repairs. Take them. Oh, I actually had my foot on the gas. It took me out. So. Okay. Why don't we Why don't we save the. Uh, why don't we save the for the quick repair later? There's traffic approaching. Watch okay. your mirrors. Hopefully we won't need to use the quick repair, but yeah. B16, blue flag. Okay. Fast cars bearing down on you. These guys are scrapping for position. Well that was like being in a Cesta passed by jets. That was crazy. Okay, you got another GT3 car on your inside. Blue flag. I'm glad I merged into the home part right of the side, track. Right side, right side, right side. Okay, we are two minutes and 37 seconds into the half hour that you will be in the car. Will you be okay if I take a quick break? I will. Uh, and if I go off, I won't tell you. Sounds fair. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. <laughs> behind has now decreased to 4.3 seconds. Blue flag. He's quicker than you in two, turn 10. <coughs> Sector two is 1.2 seconds off the pace. Okie dokie. I'm back. Hey, I'm still on the track. It's outstanding. I'm in first though. Some crazy shit happened while you were gone. Outstanding. I like I like crazy shit. Awesome. So cool. Cool. The track seventy degrees. Class. So not too hot. Blue flag comes flat. Yeah, the car feels fine, to be honest with you. Okay, LMP2 on your left. Clear.
blockage yet. It's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. Okay, LMP2, right side. Got him. No, 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 no. God, I just barely touched it. Shit. Blue flag. God damn it. I think I'm going to take up knitting after this. Well, the second, Maybe a... the second GT3 was a P8 car, so no big deal. First one, though, uh, was for position. Yeah, I know. There's a faster car approaching. I think maybe I could handle the the speed differential in crocheting. Blue flag. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 4.8. LMP2 on you. Left. Left side. Clear on the left. Next car for position behind us is 17th place. 18 seconds back. The guy in 16th that just took you is already five seconds up the field. <clears throat> yeah, I spotted him a good four or five just by going off. Yeah. So is that the tires or just... Mr. Marks. No, I just, I was trying to get on the gas too soon coming out of the loop and I swung it a little wider. I was modulating the throttle. Sometimes I can, you know, usually I can get the nose to come around. Okay, Chip, there's a faster class car approaching. That requires probably more shitty driving. driving. You have. Yeah, right side, right side. Right side. Clear. Clear. Okay, LMP2 behind you. He's deciding on where he's going to go. Right side. Hold that line. Clear on the right. You're clear. Yeah, be scared to pass me on the outside too on old tires. <laughs> I wanted to take that inside apex, and I saw him take a dive on me. Yeah. Blue flag. Clear on the left side. Blue flag. Blue flag. Right side. Still there. Another the right one right side. side. Clear on the right. Clear. Sucks when they catch you right there because you can't let the car track out. It just kills your momentum. Yeah. Blue flag. Right side. Clear. The gap in front has increased to 8.4. Approaching blue flag. Crap. 
craft car. Clear left. Left side. Clear on the left. Way to keep off the grass. Yeah, to open the door and put my left foot out, but. Incident in turn four. There's an incident in turn five. These quiet moments are really good for reflection. Yeah, I was just reflecting upon how shitty of a drive this has been. Well, it's nice to know that I'm not wrong uh, about the prognostication on this, that I was was right. In terms of it being a shit show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you were dead on. It's This is probably the it's now 10 seconds. most bizarre uh, multi-class racing I've been in. I mean, it's just, it's all over the place. The track does not lend itself to multi-class racing. It's really narrow. Next race is at Le Mans. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like Le Mans. And that one, one actually one. works for multi-class. And the one after that, it's Sebring. So those should be good shows for us. We should do well at Sebring. Yeah, I'll try not to fuck that up. It's actually it's after our uh, iRacing special event that this series is at Sebring, so you should have a lot of laps under your belt. Yeah. There will be no excuses to drive shitty. Yeah. But again, so so will everybody else. So. <laughs> yeah. There's a faster class car behind. I've got three races. Okay, he's sizing me up. Right side. Flag. Yeah, I'm uh, also competing in the North America Racing League, and uh, it's second race is in Sebring. Then the special event, and this series. So, all in fairly quick succession. Maybe you should just buy a condo in Florida. Right? Or at least a virtual condo. That's right. The car ahead's pitting. Why is the car ahead pitting right now? That's weird. I know, he might have wrecked. You got about 15, 15, 15, 14 more minutes left in the car. There's an incident in the loop. Your lap times are increasing. Come on, get back on. Your lap times are dropping off. Come on, stay focused. How's that decision feeling on the tires? You know, they're not bad. I mean, I can feel it going through the, the sweeping left-handers that, you know, I got to turn in a little sooner and not be quite as hot on the throttle. But it's not, I don't, I don't feel like I'm sliding around a lot. Cool. 
Two LMP2s bearing down. There's a group of faster cars behind. They're racing for position. <laughs> left side. Clear on the left side. The second one on the left. We're clear. Imperial is uh, in fifth position right now in LMP2 class. These two cars behind you right now. Shows you how fast these guys are. Okay, Chip. There's a faster car approaching. Okay, LMP2. Picking right side. You're clear. Billy Smith is the next LMP2 car behind you. Actually, sector three is somebody just came out of the pits. Off the pace. Blue flag. Okay, yeah, here's Billy Smith. Inside, inside, inside. Clear left. Christensen is leading the race. The car behind is catching. The gap's now 19 seconds. Blue flag. Damn it. God damn it, Rob. Breaked way too late for that. <coughs> it's okay, man. About 11 more minutes in the car. Okay. There's a faster car approaching. Blue flag. I have noticed I've had to back up my brake markers. Or yeah. my brake points. Yeah, actually, uh, barring your... your Bobble, uh, last lap, you're about a second to a second and a half slower than uh, cars around us right now. Side is clear. And I think that, that has more to do with the tires than with you at this point. Yeah, I'm having a harder time getting the grip out of the right front. Yeah, the right front was toasty enough that I probably would have changed it. But then I'm less man than you, so I get Well, and I, I think I've demonstrated my lack of judgment today, so. <laughs> That's all good. We'll get a fresh set of rubber on. We'll go out and see if we can't, uh, can't move up a little. I can't remember if we put the faster driver in second or the faster driver in first uh, in most of these uh, teams. Um, forget what okay, we've seen. I think it varies. Blue flag. So maybe I'll get lucky. I'll be up against slower guys. Okay, LMP2, two of them, yeah. one right behind you. Left side. You're clear. Blue flag. And next one, Other when they off. flash their lights, it's like, what do you want me to do? Get out of the jump, you know, right jump side. vertically? Right side, right side, right side. Clear.
<clears throat> Definitely using more track in the left-handers. The guy behind is catching. The gap's now 19 seconds. There's a faster class car approaching. Blue flag. Sector 3 is 0. 0.50 zero of the left. The to left side. Oh, God damn it. I am so sorry. This has been an absolutely pathetic display of driving. It's all good, man. You know, that's just, that, there's no excuse for that. That's just terrible. Just terrible. We've still got almost nine seconds on uh, P16 right now. Probably have a lap on him if I'd kept the thing on the frickin' track. I get watching the LMP2 cars and worry too much about my line, and it's like I gotta quit doing that. I just gotta drive my line and let them find their way around me. That's why I, I, I thought it was super unfair of right side, right side. Um, still there, clear. Um, for them to, you know, say, well, you know, we gotta, you know, work together. It's like, you know, fuck that. The LMP2 drivers have to exercise some discipline because they've got the speed. We do not. Well, and they can drive different lines and get away with it. We can't. Yeah. There's nowhere to go. Sector three is 1.1 off the pace. Chip, there's a faster car approaching. Blue flag. Sector one is 0 0.7 off the pace. Well, if Alex Gall was sandbagging during qualifying, he figured it out because he's in the lead now. Yeah. Of course, if you're a 7K driver and you don't come into a room like this and just dominate, something's wrong. Yeah. He kept hitting things last race. That was, I mean, he actually yeah. had two black flags for uh, avoidable contact in, in that sub the spa race or else he would have won that. Yeah. I mean, think about that. I mean, he, I think he still came in second or third, and that was with two black flags. We've just done a 129.74. Yeah, isn't that, that's crazy. That's just ridiculous pace. Noah Sully Vasquez Roger Rodriguez was black flagged. I'd love to see his signature. All right, Chip. There's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. Blue flag. It's like when he buys a house. You know how tired he must be at the end of that? Got a LMP2. Well, and he's coming inside. Or no outside. Left side, left side, left side, left side. Blink all you want. I don't give a fuck. Blue flag. Right side, clear. That was a on thirty point four three.
blue flag. What's the timing there, crew chief? Still looking good. I think you got one or two laps left. I'll tell you when you cross the start finish line whether it's a bring in or or two laps. Alex Gall is behind the car you. Behind is reeling you in. The gap is now 90. Jesus Christ! Right side. Right side's clear. I gave that to him. Jesus Christ! The car behind's a faster class. <laughs> I didn't want a McLaren suppository, so I let him go. Yeah, that's fair. Sniffing my butt like a dog in the park. Okay. So box this lap. Right side, clear. Blue flag. Boy, that guy pushed me out. I almost lost it right there. Right side, clear. <clears throat> Rear end tried to get away from me, going into one. So we're going to go fuel and four tires, right? Fuel and four tires. And a windshield tear off, which shouldn't cost us anything. Okay, box, box, box. Remember to catch your limiter. Watch your speed. Watch your speed. Engage the limiter. Uh, well, fuck, I'm glad that's over. <laughs> Jesus, that was pathetic. Oh, my escape isn't working. I can remove you. I'm out. Okay, I remember. Sorry. Okay, I am in. Pit limiter is on. Driver swap, 12 seconds, 10 seconds to go. Should I take the optional repairs? What do you think? Uh, it's up to you. Um, I didn't really feel anything, to be honest with you. Um, but it may, there might be a little, there is a little damage on the on the uh, driver's side rear. But it looks mostly cosmetic. I'm out. The track temps increasing. Okay. It's now 73 Fahrenheit. It's now 73. There's a car approaching. Okay. Don't cross the white line. You got sure LMP2 coming by. The loop. Okay, Jet. There's a faster class car approaching. So you got six seconds back to, well, he must have gone off because he, he had six seconds back to the GT traffic. Are you good if I go take a quick bio break? Yep. All right, I'll be right back. Yep.
How we doing, Chip? Doing okay. Let's pass the car behind. Blue flag is right. Hey, a couple LMP2 cars coming up on you. About this first one, then there's one five seconds back. Just looking to your inside, on your left. Blue flag. Hey, next car is four seconds back. He's closing on you. Here he comes. Left side. Time was 128. Point eight. Three is 0.6 off the pace. Good lap. Thank you. Hey, got a couple more LMP2 cars. They're running about three and a half seconds apart. First one's a little less than five seconds back. The next three cars will be LMP2. And cheese is closing. Blue flag. There's an incident in the loop. We think it might be Nelson. Here he comes. He's looking to your inside. Blue On your right. On your right. Blue flag. Clear. Okay, you got another one right behind you. Blue flag. Looking on your inside, left. Hey, you got two more P2 cars behind you. Blue flag. There's a car approaching. There's a car approaching. Purple P2 car coming up on you. Okay. Near your left side. Side. Blue left. Clear. Sector 1 is 0. 0.34. Okay, you have one more P2. Three seconds back. He locked his brakes up. <laughs> okay. Oh, what a bummer. I feel bad for the LMP. Wow. Hey, another LMP2 car catching you. Going outside, outside. It's a lot of faith. Yeah. The gap behind is now 3.6 seconds. Hey, the next car is for position. It's Christian Ost. He's 4.3 seconds back. I'm surprised he's still in the car. Yeah, me too. How am I looking relative to the cars that I'm racing? Uh, looks like... Well, Ost was a lot slower than you the last lap. That was his out lap, so I can't really tell. I don't have a... You were actually uh, seven tenths faster than the car in front of you, but he's 29 seconds up the road. Thank you.
fact, you've gained about a second on Christian, just this lap. Here you got the P1 car. Coming up on you, he's three and a half seconds back. P1 in which class? LMP2. LMP2. He's the class leader. He's the race leader. Yep. We'll get you on the straightaway. Here he comes. Inside. Thank you. You're putting in some good laps. Thank you. I just need 60 more of those. Let's see what I can do. Next two cars behind you are LMP2 cars. They're four seconds apart. Billy Lee. I'm assuming that it's L I Billy Lie. Billy Lee. Billy Lee. Back the next three cars are LMP two cars. Getting outside. Here you go. Here you got another one. F few seconds back. He'll probably catch you on the straightaway. Speed differential here is pretty shocking. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Okay, here he comes. He's one second back. Looking inside, inside. Oh, he didn't leave you much room. That was scary. Yeah, well, that's the same guy that hit me before, and he's the guy that hit me in practice. Another LMP2 coming up on you. Looking to your left. Now he's going to your right. Okay. Seven seconds to the next LMP2 car. The next two are LMP2s. They're running three seconds apart. Then you have the GT3 class leader ten seconds back. Thank you. You now have a 13.4 second lead over Christian Oost. Christian else must be in the pits. Okay, Chip. Hey, LMP2 car closing. Great. I like it when they close. That one they left. Left. He fake feigned right. Another one coming, another one coming. He's looking inside, left side. You're clear. Okay, you got another LMP2, five seconds back. My uh, telemetry is all jacked up. It says we're in 11th place, and I know we're not. So. Yeah, I'm showing 18th. Yeah, that's what my eye racing says. I don't know. I don't understand what's going on with with my race lab apps. It's always off by a couple. I don't know whether it's the. It seemed like when we ran uh, Daytona, it was it was good. Okay, you got another LMP2 coming up on you. Here he comes. Looking left. It's on your inside. Clear. 
Okay, next car is Alex Gall, 8.7 seconds back and followed by a couple LMP2 cars. Christian Ost and David James, who are shown as being the two behind us, uh, are have been sitting in the pits. So they're either damaged or something, something's wrong. Because we're actually showing two laps to the next car back in our class. It's a nice cushion. You want me to get in the car and get rid of that? It's <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, man. I'm here all week, man. If I can't, uh, if I can't drive worth a shit, at least I could just make you laugh. Well, your driving did some of that too. So. Yeah, yeah, not in a, not in a funny ha ha way, but a <laughs> face palm kind of way. Yeah, the two cars behind us are in very prolonged pit stops. We now have a three-lap lead over them. Maybe they're out. Could be. Okay, another LMP2, and then there's going to be another one two seconds behind him. Left side. He just threw it down there. Another one's coming. Hey. Right on your bumper, he's gonna look left. There he goes. Clear. Thank you. Hey, seven seconds, seven and a half seconds back to Alex Call. He's only running mid 128s. What am I running? Uh, you're running, your last lap was 129. 008. But you've run. You were. You ran a series of 28s. Prior to that, you were running kind of higher uh, 128s. I'm not seeing where these incidents are. They must be touching the grass or something, because. By the time you're getting there, they're gone. Somebody was just black flagged. Yeah, Paul Walton. Oh, the car ahead of you for position um, was originally um, a lap ahead of you, and he's now only eight seconds ahead of you. And. It doesn't look like he was doing an outlap, so he must have had an off. Blue flag. Okay, LMP2 car. Mac and cheese behind you. Looking inside. Inside. Left. Okay, you got another one. Blue flag. He's right up on you. Looking to your outside, right side. There he is. Clear. Okay. Six seconds back to Alex Call. Then you've got uh, the number nine and the number one LMP2 car coming up about one second apart. Gaining on the guy in front, down to six seconds. I can't tell if he's wounded or what, but I 
Hey, you got uh, LMP2 car coming up, five seconds back and closing. Gap to car ahead's now 5.5 .5 seconds. Oh yeah, Peterson. No I thought that idea. wasn't Leaf Peterson. Oh God, I hope not too. Flag. I don't think he's been driving though. Okay, LMP2 car. car he's up on you now. All right, Chip. You're reeling, Atkinson. In the gaps now. He's kind of watching to see what you're doing. Now he's going left. Blue flag. There's an ugly line through there, but I'll take it. Was he did a second and a half faster than the guy in front of you. It's down to five seconds. He ran a 131. He did a 129.5. I thought you said I did a 131. I was all like, what? No. He did not. You have yet to disappoint me. Something about this track and my uh, current force feedback settings uh -huh. chilling my shoulder right now. Just think how ripped you'll be when you're done. I know, right? Either be ripped or ruined. Okay, you got four and a half seconds to the car in front of you and you're four point four back to Alex Gall. And he's reeling me in quick. That's humiliating. Well, he's running into low 128s right now, which is why. He's a 7K driver. He should. Okay, you're another 1.5 seconds faster than the guy in front of you. It's down to He's in the Beamer with the rip-off paint job. But you are definitely reeling him in. And then there's a lap car between you and him now. Oh, I guess actually uh, the car you're chasing is... Oh, wait a second. What the fuck? Now the red car is is the, the guy in front of you is for position. The guy in front of him is a lap down, and then the guy in front of him is only six seconds out in front, and he's pitting. So, one of the GT3 cars for position, you're just going to pass him right now. Today, LMP2 car. Okay, Jeb. Yes, you got a four of them at, behind Alex Gall behind you. Alex is three seconds back. And you're still considerably 1.4 faster than Jesse Atkinson in front of you. Sector one is 0.7 off the pace. Behind 
Blue flag. Hey, here comes two LMP2 cars. They're going to be one right after the other. Hey, they're looking left. He's on your left. He's on your left. Here comes the other one. He's on your left. On your left. Oh, that was that was kind of hairy. Yeah, you were a little behind me, so I started to turn in, and then I heard you say that he was on my left, and I saw him before I heard you. Yeah, I don't know if there's a little lag or something. I was noticing a little bit of that when you were spotting for me. Yeah. All right, Chip. Faster class car approaching. Another LMP2, left side. Blue flag. Sector one is not Here comes another one. Looking inside, 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 inside. That was my overtake opportunity for the fucking back marker. God yeah, I know. It. Well, you're gonna get him. Alex Gall's behind you right now. He's right on you too. Blue flag. Starting to see a lot of marbles offline, so be careful. Yeah. Alex is making a run, looking inside. He just stuck it in there. I let him go. Yeah. like he was going to force the issue either way. But that was a good move. It's clear. Blue flag. Blue flag. Sector 3 is 1.5. Off the pace. You got a car on your left. Clear left. Uh, okay, sorry. Right. Faster car approaching. Faster car approaching. So the guy you just passed is a P3 car. Oh, he's coming out of pits? Yeah. Can you got two LMP2 cars stacked up behind him. So they're they're in a hurry to get by. Come by on your left, on your left, on your left, on your left. Holy shit. Careful. I, I was calling it long yeah, no, before they... Yeah, but he, he was... He came on me really, really fast. That was... That was terrifying. Not your fault, I just stay in. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he was on me before you There's an incident called him next to me. Yeah. I, I mean, that I didn't think they've been making it like that, but that's been happening. I, w I got a lot of that, too. There were a couple times. Okay, there's somebody getting back on the track as you come over the rise. There's an incident today. Boy, that was an adrenaline pump, though. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah I had a couple of those. Okay, LMP2 cars just sitting there. Got him. Okay, you got P3 car behind you. And then uh, the car next in line behind us is three seconds back, but he's four laps down. The actor Atkins in front is now 3.4. Hudson. He's leading the race. Sector one is zero point three eight. After the face. Lambo behind you, there's a whole there's four LMP two cars stacked. They're gonna be in succession. There's a group of faster cars behind. You're closing on the guy in front of you. Here come the LMP2 cars. They're going by the guy behind you. Two of them nose to tail. Got it. To your left, on your left, on your left. Just left side, left side, left side, left side. Come on, Clear. Come on, come on. Okay, two more coming. Okay, the P3 car is making a move on your left. Here comes the macaroni and cheese car. He's on your outside. He's on your outside. On your left, left, left. Here comes the other one. He's hanging, watching you, going left, going left. Blue flag. And some rush hour. Atkinson, ahead is pitting. That was nuts. 
So the guy um, that you were racing for position just pitted. Nice. P1412. But we're definitely on a different sequence than everybody else. But that may play to our advantage, we'll see. I don't see anybody off. LMP2, I think, went off a little bit. Uh, oh, he went, just went for a drive through the grass. Yep. Hey, you got 6.3 seconds back to uh, the P10, or the, it's not P10, but the guy next in line to you, but he's lapsed down, and then you got 10 seconds to the next LMP2. The guy I was chasing came out right in front of me. Yeah. And they've changed drivers. Okay, Chip. There's a faster car approaching. Dude! That's weird. Oh. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. You okay? Fuck. Okay. Careful For getting back on. Fuck's sake. Why did he brake check me? Yeah, that was dumb. I'm going to get no my spot to that, I know. Well, was we'll a, see. I was a car behind, but that was a fucking total brake check and a half, and the steering yeah, sucked. But, but you didn't you didn't hurt him though. The steering's jacked. Yeah. Bring it in. Bring no, it in. No, no, no. I, I, am not crabbing. It's just, it's, it's, it's off. Let's see how I do in a full lap. God, damn it! He just fucking. Totally just slammed on the brakes. The car approaching. He didn't need to hit on that. Hard. Incident in the loop. It looks like the car Mitchell. Blue flag. God, that pisses me off. P14. Okay, you got an LMP2 car coming up on you. Uh, I'm gonna me. see. If, yeah, he he didn't give you a lot of room. Uh, oddly enough, the car doesn't have any visible damage on it. It must have caught the wheel and just towed it in or something. I think it was the off-road excursion that actually did more damage than the hit. Yeah, because you're not... Um, there's no obvious um, aero damage. Turn-in is a little weird there. Well, the thing is, is we've got um, 58 minutes to go. You could come in, top off your fuel, and get the fast repair, and you you'd be done. And it'd be it'd be a quicker fill too. LMP2 coming. LMP2 car up on you. It's looking on your right. Okay, Chip. You're reeling, Mitchell. What do you think? Thirty seconds. I think track position is more important right now, honestly. I still haven't made up all the ground that we lost in the pit stop. So, because you're track is deep as Yeah. Well, your time's not bad. Yeah. So if, if you can manage the, if you can manage the uh, steering being a little cockeyed, um, 
then just keep driving it. Yeah, I got it. I got this. Sector one is zero. One three six off the pace. Yeah, that was that was totally jacked though. Blue flag. He hit the. I mean, he hit the brakes like to stop to turn. I know it was ridiculous. You could see it. I was watching the chopper view. Keep an eye on it uh, in case we get black flag, because I'm pretty sure that that'll be assessed to me, not him, because I was the following car. Uh, nothing yet. Um, the P1 car in our in GT is right on you. He's gaining on you. No doubt. Here he comes. Um, the cars in front of you, um, you're gaining on them. I think one of them's pitting. The car ahead's pitting now. Thanks, Jim. Okay, he's seen your draft. Fifteen clear. Sector three is not one six Five. off the pace. If you're gonna pass me, pass me, you bitch. Don't fucking tease at it. Okay, okay LMP2 car on your six. Here he comes. Left side. Did you see that fucking stupid ass pass? Yeah, it was horrible. It's like, make the pass. Be done with it. I lifted for him, too. I know you did. Uh, you're up into P15, by the way. Nice. He had another LMP2 car. Two of them behind you, actually. This one's going to be on you quick, and there'll be one about five seconds behind him. Looking on your left, left side. I'm sorry about that though, man. Don't worry about it. I don't think it's an issue you caused. Well, it's a uh... faster car approaching. Four of the ten that I had to keep us from a drive-thru. drive throughs at 25. Yeah, we have six six left. The gap to Ortiz ahead is increasing. It's now... Okay, you got four LMP2 cars going to be coming one right after the other. He's looking inside, inside, inside. Boy, he just shoved it down there. He was coming. Next one's coming right side, right side. Way to hang on to it. Spoke too soon. Fuck me. Okay, get it back on. Come on, come on. Come Ease on. it back on the track. Ease it back on. God. Blue flag. Damn it all. Fucking to hell. It's easy to have that happen. Okay, the uh, car two, okay, two spots behind us. It's behind you, but he's laps down. Like, okay, you I got another. Until the second LMP2 car fucking barrel rolled through. Yeah, I know it. It throws you off, and all it takes is a bobble. Left side, left side. Seriously, these guys are assholes. Hey, you got another LMP2 car a couple seconds back. How's the car feeling? I don't fucking know. Leave me alone right now. Alright. LMP2 car on your right. Right side, right side. Oh, he, he checked up. Now he's looking left, going left. There's a faster class car behind. Another LMP2 car two seconds back. Blue flag. This is now Mitchell.
LMP2 coming up on looking left, looking left, left side, left side. Another LMP2 car. Just gonna catch you on the straight. Coming by, looking left, left side, left side. Clear. Yeah, there's another pair of LMP2 cars. 15. Closing. They're about three seconds apart. Good lap. LMP2 closing. All right, Chip. There's a faster class car approaching. Get you coming out of the corner. Huh? Here he comes. Looking left, looking left. Le left side, left side, left side, left side. Clear. Okay, the P5 GT3 car is a second and a half back, and you got a P2 car three seconds back. The gap to Ortiz and closing. Is now 12 seconds. Blue flag. The next car is. Hey, here he comes. It's going inside, inside. Those guys just throw it down. They don't even wait to see what you're going to do. Far behind is P5 GT3 car, 1.1 back. Blue flag. <laughs> Car approaching. Oh, Walton was black flagged again. Not sure which car he's in. Hey, you got an LMP2 car one second back closing on you. Here he comes. Just watching you. Looking inside, left, left. The lap time was at 129.17. There's an incident in the loop. Do not see the incident. Looks like somebody tracked through the dirt. Happens to the best of us. Oh, I see it. Off to my right. There's an incident in turn three. Turn three. Sector one is. Oh, wow, well, that. Oh, he just rejoined and okay, took out the GT3 the car behind you. He just completely came on and just clocked him. That was unbelievable. Yeah, he almost got me. I saw him coming. Yeah. He was coming with some speed. I was watching. I was like, what is he doing? Yeah, uh, the beamer, the beamer that was in P5 uh, just went off, but I'm pretty sure it's because his car's jacked up. He got completely T-boned. Managed to stay on the track, but that was ridiculous. I mean, that was the most blatantly irresponsible rejoin I've seen in a long time. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. I saw him. I'm like, why is he like? He's gonna have to slow down. He was like full throttle headed back to the track. 
Well, the thing was, is he was rejoining at a perpendicular angle to the track, too. He wasn't even trying to, you know, ease back onto the track. He was just shooting back onto the track. It's like, what are you thinking, dude? Maybe he was confused about where he was in reference to the track. 14th. I don't know, but he better get black flag for that. That was that was pretty bad. Okay, you just passed P15. Sorry. Maybe he uh, had equipment failure. Could have been. Um, car in front of you for position is two seconds ahead of you. You are in P14, chasing down P13. And you ran a nice 128.7 last lap. That was a good lap. Fernandez is the guy that brake checked you. And he's gonna go another lap or so down to the field. So your P14, P13's one second ahead of you, P15's 5.4 seconds back. You do have the lead LMP2 car is 2.9 seconds back. But you're driving great, just keep it up. I'm driving okay. Thank you. You're driving okay, great. You, you've gained some serious track position. Okay, uh, the LMP2 leader is closing fast. Probably going to take you on your right side. Here he comes, right side, right side. Okay, another LMP2 closing on you very quickly. It's on your right, outside, 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 clear. Another next two cars are LMP2 cars behind you. One LMP2 helped me, the other one hurt me. Yeah, well, that's the LMP2s giveth and the LMP2s taketh away. Right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, LMP2 car right on you. He's looking on your left. You're right, 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 right. You're only half a second behind the car in front of you for position. Another LMP2 car closing on you. Hey, he's, he's waiting to see what you're going to do. He's come by right side, right side. Another LMP2 behind him. Still there, still there. Another one there. Inside, inside, inside. Good move, good move. That was the better part of Valor. Seeing this dude if he's a lap down. Uh, he's probably an idiot. That'd be my guess. No, no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey, gather it back up. How am I doing on my entry? It's Just stay low, low, stay low. There you go. Master car behind. Blue flag, yellow flag. Watch out. Okay. <laughs> The guy you were chasing, he went off in the loop, so he didn't get away from you. <laughs> well, the f they actually slowed way down. I had to tap my brakes in exactly the place that you can't tap your brakes, and I, I lost the rear end. Yeah, I had the same thing happen to me. Okay, the guy behind you just laps down. The guy in front of you is for position. And you were you were catching him over the last several laps, so I think if you set him up for a pass, you should be able to get him. Hey, LMP2 car sniffing on your tail there. He's looking inside. Uh, he's, he's being smart. He's waiting. Inside. No. He held off. Here he comes again. He's on your six. Right side. He's looking left, looking left. He couldn't decide which way he was going to go. Another LMP2 car, left side, left side. Hey, next car back is 
really he's next start. position back, but uh, he's laps down, and you're holding your own, and you're gaining on this guy. You definitely are quicker than him. There's an incident. There's an incident. There's an incident. There's an incident. There you go. Nice move, nice move. Good job, good job, good job. You got him, you got him. Nice job, nice job. Good pass. That was nice, Chip. Thank you. He wants it back, but I think you're quicker than he is. LMP2 on the right. Okay, you pulled a nice gap on on the guy behind that you passed, so just keep it up. And the guy in front, you he's up nine seconds up the road, but uh, you were six ten seven tenths faster than him last lap. In traffic, that's saying something. Yeah. And you're you're gapping the guy you passed, so the gap to Mitchell behind is now one point six. That was a good lap, Chip. I think it uh, was your fastest so far. Or close to it. Thank you. The guy in front of you was four tenths quicker. Sector one is zero. Five zero. Off the pace. You're running away from the guy that you battled with a while back. He's already three and a half seconds back. Nice to do, do that with somebody else for a change. All right, Jay, yeah. there's a faster car approaching. You do have another LMP2 car closing on you. He's a second and a half back. Blue flag. Hey, here he comes. He's looking on your left. Left side, left side, left side. There he is. He's still there, still there. Clear. Hey, there's another LMP2 car. One second back. He's closing on you. Here he comes. He's on your outside, outside, outside. That's dumb. Yeah, that was ballsy. You drove right through the marbles to go around you. I don't know if that was such a smart thing to do. There's an incident in the loop. It looks like it's Mitchell and Andrew. Uh-oh. Mitchell just took out the P5 car. Or the P3 car. 
That's not good. Class car approaching. Um, John Taylor, Tammy's behind you two seconds back. Here he comes. Looking outside, 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 outside. Boy, oh, he twitched going through those marbles. Looking really smooth, Chip. Thank you, sir. Keep it up. Six more laps. That lap was a 129.51. By okay, Chip. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. You want to hear something really weird? Sure. The vibration that I was feeling, or the oddness in the steering, it's completely gone away, or I've gotten so used to it that I just don't feel it anymore. Oh, that is weird. I mean, they've not modeled flat spots on tires, so that can't be it. That's kind of what it felt like. Is the steering wheel canted? No, it doesn't feel like it's canted. Hmm. It just felt sloppy and loose and weird for, like, ten laps or so. Hmm. That's weird. How do the tires feel? Better than I would have imagined at this point. Hey, you got a string of uh, LMP2 cars coming. Of course. First one's coming up on you, and then the other two are three and five seconds back. Here he comes, left side, left side, left side, right side. Boy, he he juked. Yeah, I I, I changed sides on him. I was expecting that. That was partially my zero. I wanted okay, to get on one side. Yeah, you got another one coming. Here he is. He's right up on you. He's looking inside. Coming inside. Left, 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 left. That's how they're supposed to do that. A blue flag. Yeah, exactly. Okay, another one. Looking right, 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 right. Inside. There, clear. Turn. Thank you. It's starting to get hot. You got it. The truck temperature is increasing. It's now 81. You got this. You just got to get up to operating temperature, Chip. <laughs> maybe, maybe you have a better grip on reality when you're warmer. No, not really. Not really. No. Five laps this time, by, right? Yep. You've just done a 129 and 08. Okay, Chip. It's a faster car approaching. The lap time was at 10. 29. Loop is clear. Got an LMP2 car coming up on you. A couple seconds back. There's a pair of them. Three seconds apart. There he is. This faster car is approaching. This group includes the class leader. Hey, oh, he nudged you. Did he? Looked like he did. Looked like he left side, left side. Looked like he tapped you a little bit. You know, he wiggled. Well, here comes the other one. Left side, left side, left side, left side. Blue flag. I hate it when they catch me in nine. That's just. Shitty the shitty. Yeah, I got caught multiple times there. 
offline is very uncomfortable there. Yes. You got a little bit of uh, breathing room for the moment. The gap in front has increased. It's now about 12 seconds. 1.2 off the pace. 1.6 off the pace. You're turning good laps. You're staying in the 28s. Or low 29s. Oh, they gave out another stern warning. I bet somebody's feeling really badly about that. <laughs> Dude, they gave out two in a row. Man, they're getting uh, no, stern up in no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. Can you get it off there? Yes, I can. Careful, you got a whole bunch of cars here. Okay, after this car, snap it around. Go, 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 go. Still got time, still got time. Still got room. Okay, you're good. There's no MP2 car coming up on you. Stay out of the way. Blue flag. That's five minutes of fuel left. I'm coming in. Okay. We're going to take the fast repair. Yeah. I think that's probably prudent. That was... I don't know what the fuck happened there. We're going to keep tires on it? Uh, it depends on what they say. What do you want to... The gas hasn't given me a, a number. Usually crew chief kissed me a number. Okay, Chip. We'll pull you to the end. He's going to film me to the end. Feet. Crew chief's got it. You sure? 100 yeah. feet. Did you give me my fast repair? Yes. Okay, cool. No tires. And I'm uh, I'm getting fuel, so it's working the way I expect it. Man, I don't know what the fuck just happened though. Well. <sighs> Son of a this, bitch. This track can, can do that to you. Okay, you got 29 minutes left. There's traffic behind. Take care. There's a faster car approaching. Blue flag. 15th place. What did the tires look like? Seventy-four. On the right front, 89 left front. Oh, easy, 74 easy. right rear. Yeah, you're good. You should be all right. Okay, another LMP2 car coming up on you. Right side. Car looks good. Well, it should. Looks like the, looks like the fast repair did its trick. Well, you never know how much the fast repair is going to actually do for you. That's true. Another LMP2 car. Outside, outside, outside. Well, he cut that, Yeah, he did. How close are we to the incident? Uh, two. We have two to go. You have no mulligans left. Shit. Hey, we got another LMP2 car. No, no, he must have gone in the pits because he 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 fell off.
Yeah, the GT3 car behind you, four seconds back, is four places behind us and many laps down to us. Okay, Chip, there's a faster class car approaching. LMP2 car is closing. Blue flag. Here he comes. Look on your right side, right side, right side. Blue flag. Okay, you got another LMP2 behind you. It's the class leader. It's the race leader. Looking left, here he comes, left side. All clear. A lot of traffic up ahead. You got three LMP2 cars trying to get around the GT3 car in front. He just went three wide. And he just went off. Oh yeah, he did. He's trying to bring it back. Watch out, watch out. He's he's launching it. What an idiot. Jesus. He just stayed in the gas. There's a faster car approaching. Like. Hey, another uh, LMP2 car. You wouldn't know that if it was an iconic balloon having used for a factory to be T-boned by some idiot. Yeah, outside, 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 outside. Right side, right side, still there, still there. Here comes another one. It's looking inside, right side, right side. There. It's crazy out here, man. I know that people are driving mental. I mean, the the, what, the track rejoins are nuts. Ah, oh, he popped God. right out. Whoa! What's he doing? Damn Jesus! It. He's. There's an incident in turn one. Black flag. God. We'll need to come into the pits to serve the penalty. Got a black flag. Yeah, I know. He came out and he was like wigging, wiggling. Yellow flag. Yeah. Caution. Okay, Let's get back on the pit road and get on out. I don't know why he's sitting there. Three laps to serve this penalty. Fuck! What a dick! Yeah, that was that was dumb. I mean, he came out and he was he was wobbling all over the place. As soon as you come in the pit, I'm going to look at the replay. I haven't looked at it yet. My steering's wonky again. Okay, Chip. The next car. Yeah, we're going to need a repair. Uh, you need to well, you gotta, check everything. I need to. Yeah, you got to do the drive through first. Yeah. You have to drive through, right? Yeah, do a drive through, and then when you come back, are you going to be able to finish the race, or do you need to come in for yeah, repair? I can It's no worse than it was before. Okay. I can't believe that. He left me no choices. I had made the decision, was going around him, and he pulled out right in fucking goddamn front of me. Yep. Okay, make sure you get your pit limiter. There's... I have unchecked everything. Just drive through, don't stop. 300 feet. 100 feet. Watch your mirrors, there's a car approaching. Okay, be careful joining. Stay to the left.
Well, you, I mean, he was coming out, but if he would have held his line, you were going around him. Well, he changed it on me once. I know he did. And then I compensated for that, and then he changed it on me again. Yep. No, you're definitely right. We lost one. We're in P16. All right, Chip. There's a faster car bearing down on you. He's There's a, a lot of really goddamn work. All yeah, well, that's fucking orange BMW. And then what was this guy over there at the sitting at the end of pit row? I don't know. Okay, you got an LP2 card. It's the class leader. Come left side, left side. Clear. Yeah, I don't know what the hell he was doing. comes another one. It's looking left. Left side, left side. Clear. Sector one is zero, one, three, three, off the pace. It's a faster class car approaching. I feel like we would have been better off doing a rally cross today. As much time as we spent off road. Yeah, it's been uh, less than ideal. Blue flag. Sides clear. Nail every corner. Let's take whatever minutes. chances we can. 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. Blue flag. Okay, we got another LMP2 coming up. And it's on your right, on your right. You're actually running pretty decent laps for having made contact. Okay, Somebody's so off the in the like kitty litter. Sorenson. He's trying to rejoin. Watch him. Six car that had, had an off track, so it's, it, yeah. everybody's having a rough day. Yeah. Yeah, uh, there's been a lot of people having off road excursions today. The car approaching. You got an LMP2 car coming up. He's on your six. Oh boy, he was just driving it down the rumble strip. Here comes another one. Stay left. Here comes another one. Stay left. Stay left. Okay, Jeff. There you go. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Clear. How many spots did I lose? I uh, still have the same. We're still in the same position. We have a three lap lead over the next spot. This track fucking sucks for multi class. It's not good.
And they, they, when they get on your inside, when you're trying to turn in, just missing that turn in by a couple inches, it's so hard to hold the car well, because, on the track. Because the track angle changes from inside to outside, you can't hold the same speed on the outside. Yeah, so some kind of off come, If you come in and they dive bomb you, you've got no way to compensate and scrub off enough speed to stick. Yeah, you're hosed. Yeah, that happened to me too. The same, same spins you have, I've had too. This is another place like Spa that works really well for single class racing, but multi class, it's a fucking shit show. Well, at least the next two tracks are proper multi-class racetracks. Yeah. Blue flag. Hey, another LMP2 car coming up on you. Here he comes. Left side. There's 15 minutes to go. Thank you. And then the pain will be over for both of us. Seriously. I'm so demoralized. Alright, Chip. Right 15 minutes less, that's 15 minutes. Like I know how you feel. That lap time was it's frustrating. It's frustrating when you're put into positions where you you can't really recover from because they're so the track doesn't leave you any room to go anywhere. Yeah, this is an unforgiving track at the best of times. That's why, oh, yeah. you know, that's why you have to strategically figure out where you're going to pass. And for multi-class, that's the type of track you never want to race on. This is the P11 car. Uh, in front of you, yes. So he's got laps on us. Yeah, but you're running almost three seconds faster lap than him. He must be wounded or he's fuel saving or... Sector 2 is 0.6 off the pace. Or he doesn't care anymore, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Just finish the race. That lap was at 129.80. You're definitely faster than him in a straight line. Yeah. Blue flag. Yeah. Hey, you got an LMP2 car right on you. Left side. Coming on your left. Left side, left side. You got a little bit of breathing room for a few seconds. Blue flag. God, this guy's slow. Yeah, you're definitely quicker than him. Trying to be polite because I he's up the road from us. But at the same time. Master car approaching. This guy's the class leader. Hey, 
And you got the PA GT3 car behind you and you have the P1 LMP2 car coming up on you. He's coming up now, right on you. He's looking, gonna look on your left, left side, left side. Here comes another one. He's on your right side, right side. Oh, GT3 car. Oh, he just stuck. He just stuck it down there. That was dumb. That's the same idiot that hit me in the in turn six. No, Alex, his partner was the. Well, yeah, the same car, same team. The loop. Birds of a feather. James, behind is pitting. Stay low. Stay low. There you go. Hey, you got the P3 car. Our, in our class, a half second back. Seriously, what is the fucking deal? Well, I mean, that was just, I don't know why he was sticking it in there. That made no sense. There was no reason to do that. And he did it. He did it really late. This is going to be an IRR festival. I'm going to be reviewing these things till race start next week. Well, I'm. The thing is, is I, I'm not planning on filing anything. I don't know if you want to do it. It's now 85. I'm not going to file anything, but I mean. But I'm betting. I think okay, Jeff, to file against us. Approaching. Uh, let him do it. If they can prove that we're at fault, and so be it. You were definitely not at fault there. And I think the only thing that might be a gray area is how they rule for the guy coming out of the pits, but when he doesn't hold his line, you know, I don't know how that's our fart. Our, our fault. Our fault. Our, our fart. Here comes the mac and cheese car on the outside. Careful getting on. Okay, you got a little gap. Stay left or right. Stay right. Jesus Christ. I've got no turn in. And the wheel's got a lot of wiggle in it. Yeah. We got nine minutes to go. Just see if you can get it home. Just bring it home. We still got 16th. We're not likely to lose that. We still have a four lap lead. Yeah, the wiggle in the wheel is like intense. So something's definitely broken. Yeah, I'm sure just all the beating and bangings taking its toll. You got an LMP2 car. Coming up on you. Here he comes. He's gonna be looking on your outside, outside, outside. Clear. Well, it's tough enough driving this track when your car is good, but it's extra tough when the car is wounded and you have traffic that's pushing you offline because this, this is not a track you can recover from offline very easily short of stopping and there are places here that putting on the brakes is just as damning as uh... well yeah it's just as bad hmm. it's damned if you do damned if you don't so I don't know what the you know just wasn't our day man Do we want to maybe change our team name to, you gotta be fucking kidding me? <laughs> or we could just do F-U-L-M-P-2. Alright. 
<laughs> Horse walks into a bar. Bartender says, why the long face? It'll be interesting to count up all the incidents for the whole race for everybody and to find out just what a festival it was. Okay. Oh, this guy's high centered. The guy down in the ditch, he's high centered his car. He can't get it out. He's revving the motor and it's not moving. It's like he, he's got the car bridging the ditch and his wheels aren't touching. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't laugh, no, but got, it's kind we, of... We got lucky that that didn't happen to us when I did that. Yeah, but you kept moving. You did have the nose sticking up into the air and a nice jaunty angle. <laughs> yeah, this track sucks. I mean, it would suck for that guy if um, he, he has to tow from that and he loses several laps. But at this point, I think it's hilarious for any bad things to happen to anybody else because we've had such a shit, shit uh, hand of luck. Here comes another LMP2. Here he comes. He's looking inside, left side. Okay, the next car coming up is the leader of the race. He's four seconds back. This is a scary fucking car to drive right now. Yeah, I know. Okay, here comes the leader. How bad does it look on the outside? That's the car behind. This guy's that class leader. Uh, I got a little rear end, little rear damage, little front left splitter, splitter damage. Uh, you got some right side sidewall damage or body damage. It looks like uh, you've driven the car pretty hard. <laughs> like maybe we we've been in the Dakar instead of the Phillip Island. Definitely show it in the lap times too. Well, pretty beat up. The guy in front of you is the guy that high centered his car. Yeah, I know. I recognize him. He's in P14. A lap ahead of us. So you're going to pass him and not past him. That's true. You're good at math, too. I am. Well, it'd kind of be tough to be in the software business and not understand math very well, right? Okay, um, LMP2 car coming up. He's rolling on you. He's looking right. Right side, right side, right side. Clear. Like we overfueled the car, but it's kind of academic at this point. Yeah. There's an incident in turn nine. Looks like it's Fernandez. If we were to do a, an evaluation of this race of all the things that went wrong, uh, you got a guy rejoining here down the loop. 
side's clear. It's like, it's like. Um, I don't think putting too much gas in the car would be in our top five. approaching. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. Hey, here comes another LMP2. He's being patient with you. Okay, he's looking. He's looking. Going left. There you go. So the guy that's uh, ahead of us by one lap for position is pitting right now. So I don't know if he's I don't know if he's wrecked his car or whether he's out of gas. This would get us back to P15 if he's truly in trouble, right? Yeah, I don't know if he's back out or not. He must have just done a splash and go because we haven't changed positions. I didn't see him flash by when we went by the pits. Yeah, he's 30 seconds ahead of us, so he must have just come in for a splash. Got another LMP2 car, he's the P3 car coming up on you. Left side. Blue flag. Clear. You haven't been given the white flag yet, have you? Nope. You gotta get it this time, because uh, the timer's down to zero. Who's that drive through for that I see on the screen? Number 27. Flag. Okay, uh, number 27's in four positions behind us, so nothing that's going to help us. Okay, your LMP2 car, he's looking on your inside. He's staying there. Left side, left side. Okay. Wait Holy flag. shit. Uh, Adrian Fernandez just went by us. Or we just went by him. We're in 15th. Dude, we're in 15th. That's weird. Hang on to it. He must have had a problem. Yeah, he's 40 seconds behind us. Any of these for position up here? No. Negative. There's a group of faster cars behind. Uh, the red Porsches for one ahead, but... Okay, LMP behind you. Right side, right side, right side. Got another one coming up fast. Right side, he's throwing it in there. Left. Two minutes. Got another one behind you. Got another one behind you. Left side, left side. So the guy in front of you is technically one position in front, but he's also... Oh, he just hit the car in front of him. There's an incident in turn one. It looks oh, like no. Fernandez. Oh, Chip. <laughs> hey. Mitchell. That's just kind of the way the day's gone. I missed my breaking point. I know. Watch out, the guy on the right slow. Something's wrong with him. He's not moving. I wonder if he's out of gas. Jesus Christ. All right, well, the suffering is over. Talk that up to one we can forget. I think it might be Costa, 15th place. There we go, it's over. Bring it back round. Whew. Not our uh, best day at the track. Wow. 
auch. Oh, so I know why Imperial Motorsports got DQ'd. Huh. Uh, they didn't have a second driver. Oh. Or no, Billy, they're... Billy, well, Billy drove too many laps to, um, said he drove too many laps to make it so Leaf would get his fair share, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I think that they would do that until the end of the race, though. That's weird. But it's, it's read it out. But if you drive, if you drive in the beginning past a certain point, it's mathematically impossible for the other person to to hit there. Yeah, but I didn't think that that DQ sure. got calculated until um, until the end of the race. But I guess I'm wrong. That's weird. weird. Oh no, somebody's running a gas on that road. Speed limit. He's getting a push. Yeah. yeah. It's too bad he didn't run out of gas a lap before we would have taken that position. 300 feet. 100 feet. Yeah, we had plenty of fuel in the tank, that's for sure. <laughs> All big, right. Big, big fucking deal, right? Right. <laughs> Wear on the tires is actually not bad at all. 73% on the right right front. Weird. Weird. Yeah. Oh, any final words? Um, That's a kiss good my ass, Phillip Island. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's probably pretty safe to call that exactly what it is, a uh, giant Shirley Foxtrot. Uh, that was sort of what I would imagine getting sewn up in your bed sheets and beaten half to death with a frying pan would feel like. Um, tremendously difficult track, um, and adding multi-class to the mix on that was just nuts. Um, we qualified uh, P15, we finished P16 in class, 27th overall. Um, both Rob and I had a lot of unforced errors. I actually had more. Um, I wound up with 22 incident points to Rob's 15. Um, we were pretty much on pace together, both in terms of average lap and fastest lap. Um, so that's that's good. Um, it's nice to have a teammate that uh, you know you, you're you're comparable to one another. So that uh, if you're both good, you're both good. If you're both bad, you can kind of lean on each other and commiserate. Um, this was definitely not um, not our best race, not our favorite track um, combination with multi class. Both Rob and I like this track. Um, we've driven it before um, in other series, uh, PCA Sim Racing, um, for Wild West. Wild West Zones did one of their races in one of their series a, a little while back at Phillip Island in the old Cup car, the 991, and that's a fun car to drive at this track. Um, no traction control, no ABS, um, all car control, a lot of fun. Um, GT3R is a little bit different. Um, it, we actually drove it fairly well, um, in practice, um, and it just, uh, didn't translate in traffic. Um, it, it, with this track, it's so narrow, you get off line, um, compromise your line, you wind up in the marbles, and, um, it just results in some really crazy, nutty stuff, um, and, uh, really just difficult. So, we're gonna reflect on this briefly and uh, then move on to Le Mans. Le Mans is a track that both Rob and I enjoy. It's basically built for multi-class racing. It's it's a little bit wider, a um, lot of long straights. Um, should, be a, should be a fun run. And of course, Sebring is after that. And uh, we're all going to be racing a lot at Sebring because uh, I have a 12-hour event coming up through the iRacing special events there. So um, some good times coming, we hope, uh, where we can improve our results and uh, have a little bit more steadfast uh, response uh, on track um, to those around us just by virtue of having seen those tracks a little bit more. So anyway, uh, is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, feel free to uh, give us a like um, if you enjoyed the video. And if you uh, want to be notified of videos like this when we release them on this channel, go ahead and click on subscribe and uh, click on the little, little alert bell and you'll get notification uh, when, we, when we release new videos. Um, otherwise, um, comments um, below, always welcome. And um, 
Thanks for joining us. Spaß machen Rennsport.